If I have a website that has technology that allows me to see what my consumers are doing when they walk in the store, now I can start paying attention to body language, digital body language, right? And I think there's 10 behavior triggers that really stand out to me that I'd be looking for as a real estate agent. Number one, viewed homes. What homes were viewed? How many? Okay. How long were they on the website? Did they save any homes? Did they set up alert? Did they set up their own listing alert? Or maybe they refined a listing alert. Did they request more info on a listing? Maybe they raised their hand. Maybe, maybe they came back to the website and their zip code or neighborhood changed. Now they're looking at two different neighborhoods. Or now they start looking at short sales and foreclosures, condos, townhouses. Maybe they viewed a market insider type report, right, which is neighborhood data, school information, market analysis. Maybe they're starting to look at specific neighborhoods on how, it, how the amenities look, school information. Maybe they raised their hand and want a pre-approval request. Or maybe you drove them back enough times where they updated their phone number and they gave you a valid phone number. These are behavior triggers. This is digital body language. This is what we watch for. This is what we watch for. This is why it's important for you to stop the search of that consumer, make sure they don't go back to a Google, a Craigslist, a Zillow, a third-party website, wherever, and they come and get content from you. And based on the technology you have in your business, can you identify what these triggers are? Can you put yourself in a position to provide relevant content? Because each trigger, right? And so a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, when I – like, and I'll, a perfect example, when I spoke at NAR, the biggest question I got is, well, Jack, what is relevant content? How do I know? There is no script of relevant content. It's, it's different for every consumer. What we pay attention to is digital body language or behavior triggers because this will determine our next call of action, doesn't it? If someone comes on our, on our website, they've looked at 20 homes, they've saved two, one of the houses they looked at five times, doesn't that trigger you? to know exactly what relevant content is? For me, it would. Like Relevant content would be information that they can't get online about that house and they can only get from an agent. I'm going to provide that. You have to start looking at the MLS as your tool to help consumers get what they can't get without you. Does that make sense? Like if I know someone's on my website and they, they saved a house and looked at it five different times, I'm going to call the listing agent. I'm going to look in the MLS for information that I know a consumer can't get without me. I might even go to the house, take a short video, do some pictures, and then I'm going to put together one hell of an email to that consumer, especially if I don't have the phone number. I'm going to put together an email of relevant content. I'm going to provide that consumer a reason to want to talk to me about that relevant content. And what it does is it, it, you start to change the mentality. You don't want to be, it's not good enough to be seen as just a real estate agent. You really have to put yourself in a position to be seen as a neighborhood expert. I hope that really makes sense.